Hello viewers, welcome to Mesology. In this video, let us cover the types of inflorescence. Let us first know what does inflorescence mean. Inflorescence is the mode of arrangement of flowers on a floral axis which is called the rachis. Based on whether the floral axis continues to grow and show indeterminate growth or that it ends in a flower showing a determinate growth. This classification is into two different types, the racemos and the cymos types. In racemos inflorescence, the main axis grows continuously. Flowers are present laterally on the floral axis. Flowers are present in an acropetal manner. This is that the older flowers are present on the lower side while the new flowers are present on the upper side of the ratchets. When a flower appears singly or separated from other flowers, Due to dense vegetation regions, it is called the solitary type. A raceme has an elongated branch with peduncle. It contains pedicillate flowers as for example the mustard, radish and the compound raceme is also found. When the main axis is branched, and the lateral branches bear flowers in a simple raceme manner, it is called the compound raceme or panicle. Example, the flowers of mango, gulmohar, etc. Next is the spike. In a spike, the peduncle is elongated but the flowers are sessile, that they do not have a pedicel. Examples are amaranthus and achiranthus. A spikelet too has an elongated peduncle, but this peduncle is branched and each branch bears a spike-like inflorescence. It is then called a spikelet. Structures like the lima, the outer glooms, rachila and the florets along with the pali are found in a spikelet. Next is the case of a catkin. Catkin has a peduncle which is thin long and weak. Flowers are sessile and unbranched. The case found in mulberry as well as in the oak trees. Next is spadix. Spadix is an inflorescence with long and fleshy along with thick peduncles. There are small flowers which are sessile and unisexual. In a spadix, the flowers are enclosed by bracts. As for example, it is seen in banana, coconuts, etc. Coming next are two resmos inflorescence with shorter main axis. They include the corim and the umbel. The corim has a short peduncle. All flowers are at the same level. Examples include candy tuft and cass. Compound corims are also possible with several corims clustered together. The next is the case of umbel. In this, the flower stalks are almost equal lengthwise. The younger flowers 
occupy the center and the older flowers are at its periphery. Example includes centella. The compound umbel is a branched umbel having both involucral and the involucra of bracts. Examples include carrot as well as corianders. Next is a racemous inflorescence with a flattened main axis. This is called capitulum, also known as head inflorescence. A type of short dense spike is present over which flowers are borne directly on a broad flat peduncle giving an appearance of a single flower. This is clearly observed in case of sunflowers which forms a capitulum. It is indeed large number of flowers which are born on that flat disc-like main axis. So we already covered the eight different kinds of racemos inflorescence which are prominently seen in different flowering plants. Next we come upon the cymos inflorescence. There are certain examples of mixed inflorescence as well but let us first discuss cymos inflorescence so that we understand the mixed inflorescence better. In cymose inflorescence, the main axis does not grow continuously. A flower is present terminally on the main axis that usually cuts down the further growth of that rachis. So, this is a kind of determinate growth not allowing any indefinite growth of the rachis. In cymos inflorescence, the arrangement of flowers is basi petal. This basi petal means that the young buds are lateral while the oldest flowers are terminal in position. The different varieties of cymos inflorescence includes the uniparous cyme or the monocasial cyme. Here, the peduncle terminates in a flower, producing lateral branches on one side. It can be a helicoid type, where flowers can either be on the left side or on the right side. As for example, in Heliotropis, or in Saraka. In the scorpoid type, the flower arrangement is in an alternate manner, appearing a zigzag pattern. As for example, it is seen in begonia as well as in the vines. The both begonia and vines show alternate arrangement of flowers on the floral axis. Next we come to the biparous chyme or what we also call as the dicasial chyme. Here the peduncle terminates in a flower but two lateral branches arise from the base of the peduncle each ending in a flower. This is why it is called the Biparous kind. Examples include bougainvillea, jasmine, mirabilis, etc. Next is the multiparous kind or the polycasial kind. Here, in this inflorescence, the peduncle terminates in a flower, but many lateral branches arise from its base which also terminates in a flower each. Example, Nerium, Calitropis, etc. Next, we come over to certain mixed inflorescence. In this mixed inflorescence, 
the flowers are arranged in both racemos and the branches are in a cymos manner on the same pedancle examples include tulsi or osimum the first of its kind is thyrsus a cymos cluster born acropatally on one axis that is seen in the grape vines lilac etc then we come over to the mixed spadix spadices with cymos inflorescence arranged acropatally on a fleshy axis having colored spades this is seen in banana bright red colored spades cover the banana flowers in the mixed spadix of banana next we come over to certain special types of inflorescence these include few varieties like the verticillaster cyathium and hypanthium we will discuss one by one a verticillaster this is basically a dicasial cyme that often becomes clinical in its later branching flowers are born on the axils often forming a whole of flowers at each node examples include salvia tulsi coleus etc the next we come over to the special type of inflorescence which is known as cyathium cyathium is characteristic of euphorbiac bracts or involucre of bracts fused together forming a cup like cyathium the margins possess nectar glands with bright colors and the female flowers occupy the center surrounded by the male protandrous flowers that is the male flowers the mature earlier than the female flowers lastly we come over to hypanthium or this is also called by the name hypanthodium hypanthodium is seen in banyan or people that is the genus ficus peduncle is modified into a narrow fleshy globose and a hollow cup like receptacle with a narrow apical opening guarded by overlapping bracts the male flowers is found in the mouth of the cup and the female flowers occupy the base of the receptacle there are also sterile flowers which are found in between so we end here with the kinds of inflorescence thank you for watching i hope you like the video you can post your comments in the comment box below thank you once again please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done so